Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Advanced Portals plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create these awesome portals of any shape or size and it allows your players to be teleported to a location. Now when you create the portal there are a ton of options from permissions to the trigger block. So for this one it's water, for this one it's just portal and you can customize them completely. So what we're going to do today is show you a couple of examples which I've made here and then create one of our own. So this first one is just a simple portal made of water and if we go through it it's going to teleport us to destination one over here. This big one over here is going to do the same, it's going to teleport us to blue location which is kind of here and that is going to say a message in the chat as well. So that's another thing you can do. So let's just jump into how to create this portal and make it teleport us somewhere. So the first thing you want to do is go to your location wherever you want to be teleported and if you do forward slash desti, so short for destination, create and then we're going to call it a name. So let's just call this one test and there we go. We've created a new destination but we now we need to create a new portal. What do we need? Well we need a portal wand. So this is similar to a world edit wand and what we need to do is select the entire area. So right click at the bottom and then go to the top and then left click. So it's just like uh, World Edit. So make sure you've got both selected, left and right click, one each, and that is your portal selected. Now all we need to do is one more command, which is portal create, and then we can jump into customizing it. So there's a ton of stuff in here. So the first thing we're going to do is name, and this is just going to be test three. And then we want to set our destination, so desti, colon, and it's going to be test. Um, and then we can set all the other stuff, which some, some of it you don't need, some of it you do. So you don't need bungee support, obviously, but if you did use that, you could. Uh, you can set a command to be triggered. You would write it like this with an apostrophe and a pound sign, and you can say, say, hello, when someone goes through the portal, and then close off that apostrophe. And then we could also do the trigger block. So this is pretty important. Make sure you set um, a certain block. So I could do lava potentially. And there we go. So if we try and go through it now, it's not going to work. Why? Because the trigger block is not inside. So that is where the world edit one comes in. If we select it and go replace zero with lava. Now, if we try and go through it, it's going to warp us to test. And there we go simple as that to create a portal now if you do four slash portal edit and then test three i believe it was this will come up so if you hit show that will show the area that is the portal so you could change all of those blocks to uh, lava and it will work you don't have to make it a specific shape uh, you can obviously rename the portal you could just activate it um, as if we just fallen through it and then you can also remove it and there we go, the portal has been removed. So that is how you would set it up in-game. Very cool, very easy to use and easy to customize as well. So let's head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there are three 1ML files. The bottom two is just saving the data of the portals and the destinations so you don't need to touch those. And the config.yml is the only one we want to look at. And there's not too much in here, so we've got the axe ID that we used, which was an iron axe. Scroll down, we've got the portal protection and the protection area of five. The default portal trigger block is a portal block, obviously. So if you don't set anything, it will be that. And then do you want to stop water flow from going outside of the portal? Probably yes. Um, and then we've got warp particles, warp sound, and then a couple of other things like the custom prefix. Um, and whatnot. So there's not too much in here you can set. You can also set the cooldown if you wanted to. Um, but that is pretty much everything you'd want to change in the portals config. So here we are on the advanced portal spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.17. There is a ton of information here and there is a wiki if you want to find out more information about other stuff you can do with this plugin which is pretty cool so if you want to download it head over to the speaker page but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time